upon a time, in a classroom somewhere at McMaster, there was a boy named Peter. Peter, like a typical university student, procrastinated and is stressing out for his midterm tomorrow morning. Oh man, I'm so stressed for tomorrow's midterm. Oh. He pulls out his laptop and then thought about studying, but noticed that something peculiar was trending on the internet. Huh? The ASMR? Curious, Peter starts searching for videos on this topic. Hey guys, Ojan here. Welcome back to my channel. Let's get straight to it with some ASMR examples. I got some acoustic triggers here that I can't wait to show you guys. Just make sure you guys have your headphones on so you get the full effect. Let's get started. First, I have a bag of Miss Vicky's jalapeno chips. Next, I have a bag from Tim Hortons, it's gonna crumble that up. And finally, I'm gonna tap on this surface with my nails. Fascinated, Peter wants to explore more of the world of ASMR. I wish I could explore the world of ASMR more. All of a sudden, out of nowhere... Hey, buddy. Ugh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are you, why am I tingling? You don't remember me? That was from the YouTube video. I'm here to explain more about ASMR. You know, autonomous sensory meridian response. It's sort of like a tingling sensation that starts from your scalp and goes down to your neck and around your spine. There are a couple of triggers. You know, one was mentioned in my YouTube video, acoustic. There's also uh, whispering and also personal attention and role play. But what is the history behind it? Um, I'm sort of limited on that. One sec. Hey, narrator. Hey, hey, hey. Hands off the glass, pal. Are you talking to me? Yeah, you. <sighs> okay, fine. So, ASMR sensations are actually a relatively new phenomenon, which was initially reported in 2007 on a discussion forum for health-related subjects called Steady Health. This post described a specific sensation compared to tracing fingers along the skin, but had occurred with random, unrelated events. There were over 300 replies of individuals who also experienced this sensation, yet nobody knew what it really was and why it was occurring. So let's skip to 2010. Finally, this phenomenon received a name and a research and support website was also created. Okay, so there's your history. Now, let's go back to the triggers. Well, as mentioned, there are three triggers. First one is whispering. You noticed that when I first came into the room. There's actually a study with 400 individuals and 75% of them actually felt this tingling sensation after a whispering trigger. Second one is acoustic. You saw this in my YouTube channel. There's stuff like sound of rain or tapping the surface or crumpling up a piece of paper, crunching on some chips, and personal attention role play. This one is basically physical touch or vocal expression, such as maybe a virtual haircut or a back massage while the individual is actually speaking quietly to you. The best way to hear this one is through headphones because they get a different sound per ear. I can show you an example. Since we don't have headphones, I'll just show you what it would be like if you did have headphones watching the video. We're feeling the love. This is personal attention. Role play. Stop, stop, I get it. So what's the science behind it? Okay, okay. You guys are taking way too long. Sit yourselves down and let's delve into some real science. Since this is a novel idea, there isn't much research on ASMR, but here's what we've got so far. A study conducted in 2016 showed that there was a reduced connectivity in regions of the frontal lobes located right here, and the sensory and attentional regions of the parietal lobe located right here. This is related to a reduced attentional control, meaning it may inhibit sensory emotional experiences that are suppressed in most individuals. In addition, it was also shown to have a greater connectivity in regions of the cortex that are typically part of the executive control and visual resting state. 
This actually makes sense because many individuals use ASMR to relax, cope with stress, as well as depression. Another study in 2015 tested ASMR triggers on individuals with depression or chronic pain. 80% of those individuals with depression responded positively and claimed that ASMR enhanced their mood, while only 6% claimed they didn't get an effect. The rest were actually unsure of the effect. So, to sum everything up, ASMR is a tingling sensation starting from the scalp and continues on towards the neck and spinal region due to acoustic, visual, and role play stimuli. Research shows that there is a stimulation in regions associated with executive control and visual resting state, as well as a decreased connectivity in regions associated with attentional control. Thank you so much for your help. I think I should get back to studying now. Love able to help. Good luck. And as the night progressed, Peter hopelessly continued to study for a test that we all knew he was bound to fail. Hey! I mean, come on, we all knew it was true. But I guess that's a story for another time. As for now, that's the end.